good morning good afternoon and good evening everyone i hope you all must be doing good so today i got galaxy note 10 plus 5g exynos chipset model and today i will show how to flash the pixel operating system the android rom android 14 on galaxy note 10 plus 5g i have already flashed the rom i have checked the rom rom is good performing perfectly on galaxy note 10 plus 5g and we are getting android 14 version of stock android rom on galaxy note 10 plus 5g like this mobile phone will not have any officially android 13 or android 14 rom but if those who like the speed uh, performance and uh, to have a stable performance on the Samsung Galaxy mobile phone, they can have the Android stock ROM, the Pixel operating system on the mobile phone. So the Pixel operating Android 14 have no bugs yet. And I have tried and I have checked the things that are working perfectly. And we can use this ROM as a daily drive. So starting the video, how to flash this ROM on Galaxy Note 10 plus 5G Exynos model. But before going ahead, if you think that you are getting help by this video, do not forget to like the video and do not forget to subscribe my channel. Click or tap the bell icon, click or tap the select all. Thank you so much. I appreciate to those who just did that and to those who already did that. Thank you. So starting the video, you must uh, have to save all the internal storage data because this will format everything. Check the mobile phone battery must be charged to maximum your mobile phone must have exynos chipset and your mobile phone bootloader must be unlocked if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader i will leave the tutorial video link in my description you can watch that video how to unlock the bootloader of the galaxy note 10 plus 5g now we'll go to settings and in case if you are using samsung account then go to account and backup remove the samsung account must remove it because if you are not going to remove the samsung account the custom recovery will not get flash and also sync your google account and then must remove it select the screen lock type as a swipe to turn it off the most important thing is to have an unlock bootloader and to have the latest stock firmware on the mobile phone currently my mobile phone is n976n and having a latest firmware on the mobile phone which is ny12 you must have ny12 right after connecting the internet on the mobile phone go to the mobile phone settings then go to software update and check your uh, mobile phone update for once download and install tap here let the set to connect to the server and to, ch to check the updates and when you see that uh, your software is up to date now go back once again go to the about phone then go to the software information and tap the build number for seven times one two three four five six seven developer mode has been turned on go back to the settings then scroll down tap to tap the developer options and uh, must check the developer option must be turned on and also check the OEM unlocking must be turned on. My mobile phone bootloader is already unlocked. So the OEM unlocking must be turned on, which cannot be turned off because I have to lock the boot, re-lock the bootloader first, then I can turn off the OEM unlocking. After checking that OEM unlocking is prominent, you can see the OEM unlocking in developer options and it is on then you can simply go back to the main screen and power off the mobile phone this is my downloaded folder where i have downloaded all the files and all the file links are provided in my video description now you have to do the first thing is to install the samsung usb driver on your mobile computer in case if you are having it already then there is no need to reinstall it so the mobile phone will be detected by the windows after connecting it and windows will detect the drivers also the odin file link over available after downloading it must extract it in same folder and play for player platform tools 
with the windows command after downloading it must extract it in same folder this is the pixel recovery which is required after flashing the custom recovery of twrp pixel operating system rom so this is the official website of pixel operating system you can see that samsung galaxy note 10 plus 5g the code name is d2x android version is 14 the uh, release date is 1st december 2023 now in case if you are watching this video in future whatever release date you can see just go for the latest one so here is the recovery and here is the latest build the things that we have to do is to copy the rom file from here then open the extracted folder of platform tools and paste that file in the extracted folder of platform tools and then come to the rom file click on it press f2 rename the file name just type rom that's all press enter key now we'll go back open the extracted folder of odin 3.13.1 Double click the Odin 3.13.1, click OK on next window, the Odin will get open. Then click AP and go to your downloaded folder where all the files are saved. And this time you we have to select the TWRP file for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G. Click on this file, then click open. And then on Odin, click CP. Go back to the downloaded folder and this time click on bbmeta.tar file and click open. Odin is ready to flash the recovery on the mobile phone. Now coming back towards the mobile phone. We have to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode. For that we need to use the data cable. Use a good quality of data cable and check the other side of this cable must be connected with the computer or laptop. So the mobile phone bootloader must be unlocked and uh, it must be power off also. Press and hold the volume up key and volume down key. Press it hold and connect the data cable with mobile phone. In few seconds you will see you will see a warning screen and immediately release both keys. Now on this screen press the volume up key once to let the set boot into the Odin mode. The Odin mode screen, you can see, you will see the FRP lock must show off and OEM lock must show off and in a brackets, you can see U, which means that the bootloader is already unlocked. Now, moving towards the computer screen. So, the Odin is ready and Odin also showing that COM6, which means the windows detected the mobile phone now click on options and tick auto reboot then go to lock and then click start the recovery flash will get started and you will see pass which means that the all threads completed succeeded one you can simply click reset and click exit go back to the downloaded folder and this time we have to boot the mobile phone into custom recovery the mobile phone still booted into odin mode now you have to concentrate here that what we have to do to boot the mobile phone into custom recovery first of all we will press and hold all the three keys volume up key volume down key and power key when mobile phone gets power off or reboot then first release the volume down key and when you see the logo of samsung then release the power key but do not release the volume up key keep it press press it hold until you will see the custom recovery then you can release the volume up key right i am starting the procedure press and holding the, all the three three keys mobile phone restart will release the volume down key first logo appears will release the power key and still i'm holding it volume up key waiting for set to boot the mobile into custom recovery then releasing the volume up key after when i see the recovery screen on the mobile phone now first of all on this screen swipe to allow modification and then tap wipe then tap 
format data type y e s then tap here done go back to the main screen tap reboot and tap recovery again swipe to allow modifications and uh, definitely you will see the internal storage of the mobile mobile phone on the computer having proper internal storage showing 227 gb free of 229 gb now coming back towards the downloaded folder and copy the recovery file from here of the pixel recovery file right copy the recovery file from the downloaded folder then go back to the internal storage of the mobile phone on the computer double click the storage and paste that recovery file here done then simply come back towards the mobile phone screen tap install then tap uh, install image you will see the recovery file tap to select the recovery file then tap recovery select the recovery here and swipe done Go back to the main screen, tap reboot and tap recovery. So finally we got the pixel recovery on the mobile phone. Now on this recovery, the first tap, tap factory reset and format data factory reset which is already selected, tap on it, tap format data, done, go back to the main screen, tap apply update. And tap apply from ADB. Right, the set is uh, finally booted into ADB mode. Coming back towards the computer screen. Now double click the plate farm extracted folder and uh, right click on the acmd.exe and left click on run as administrator. Click yes on next window. The command window will be open. Now here we have to flash the ROM file for that type the command first we will check the set is connected properly with the computer for that type adb space devices press enter key the list of the devices attached must see the numbers and set booted into site load mode set is properly connected Type the command to flash the ROM file adb space site load space rom.zip press enter key. The, you will see the ROM will start it transferring to the mobile phone and at the same time it is getting flash also. Now we have to wait it will take a little time here. When the flashing gets completed, definitely you will see install completed with status 0. Status 0 means uh, flashing got very well. Now simply tap the reboot system now and disconnect the cable from the mobile phone. And also we are done from the computer. You can close the command window and you can turn off the uh, mobile computer. And the mobile phone will start booting into Pixel Operating System and Android 14 ROM very soon. So finally, first boot completed. Complete the setup screen. We got the Pixel Operating System, the Android stock ROM on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G. Believe me, this ROM works much faster than the stock rom we'll go to about phone to show that we got the android 14 rom on the galaxy note 10 plus you can see that and also the build number pixel operating system for the galaxy note 10 plus 5g Android 14 the code name is d2x and uh, the exynos chipset one things are all working fine i hope you got helped by this video do not forget to give a like and also subscribe thank you we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye